Yovalim, Jubilees, 26. And in the seventh year of this week, Yitzhak called Esau, his elder son, and said unto him, I am old, my son, and behold, my eyes are dim in seeing, and I know not the day of my death. And now take your hunting weapons, your quiver and your bow, and go out to the field, and hunt and catch me venison, my son, and make me savory meat, such as my soul loves, and bring it to me that I may eat, and that my soul may bless you before I die. But Rivka heard Yitshak speaking to Esau, and Esau went forth early to the field to hunt and catch and bring home to his father. And Rivka called Yaakov her son and said unto him, Behold, I heard Yitshak your father speak unto Esau your brother, saying, Hunt for me and make me savory meat and bring it to me that I may eat and bless you before Yahuwah, before I die. And now, my son, obey my voice in that which I command you. Go to your flock and fetch me two good kids of the goats, and I will make them savory meat for your father, such as he loves. And you shall bring it to your father, that he may eat and bless you before Yahuwah, before he die, and that you may be blessed. And Yaakov said to Rivka, his mother, Mother, I shall not withhold anything which my father would eat, and which would please him, only... I fear, my mother, that he will recognize my voice and wish to touch me. And you know that I, must, that I am smooth, and Esau, my brother, is hairy, and I shall appear before his eyes as an evildoer, and shall do a deed which he had not commanded me, and he will be wroth with me. And I shall bring upon myself a curse and not a blessing." And Rivka, his mother, said unto him, Upon me be your curse, my son, only obey my voice. And Yaakov obeyed the voice of Rivka, his mother, and went and fetched two good and fat kids of the goats, and brought them to his mother, and his mother made them savory meat, such as he loved. And Rivka took the goodly raiment of Esau, her elder son, which was with her in the house. And she clothed Yaakov, her younger son, with them. And she put the skins of the kids upon his hands and on the exposed parts of his neck. And she gave the meat and the bread which she had prepared into the hand of her son Yaakov. And Yaakov went in to his father and said, I am your son. I have done according as you bade me. Arise and sit, and eat of that which I have caught, Father, that your soul may bless me. And Yitzhak said to his son, How have you found so quickly, my son? And Yaakov said, Because Yahuwah Eloheka caused me to find. And Yitzhak said unto him, Come near, that I may feel you, my son, if you are my son Esau or not. And Yaakov went near to Yitzhak, his father, and he felt him and said, The voice is Yaakov's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. And he discerned him not, because it was a dis dispensation from heaven to remove his power of perception. And Yitzhak discerned not, for his hands were hairy as his brother Esau's, so that he blessed him. And he said, Are you my son Esau? And he said, I am your son. And he said, Bring near to me, that I may eat of that which you have caught, my son, that my soul may bless you. And he brought near to him, and he did eat, and he brought him wine, and he drank. And Yitzhak his father said unto him, Come near and kiss me, my son. And he came near and kissed him. And he smelled the smell of his raiment. And he blessed him and said, Behold, the smell of my son is as the smell 
of a full field which Yahshua, rather Yahuwah, has blessed. And may Yahuwah give you of the dew of heaven and of the dew of the earth and plenty of grain and oil. Let nations serve you and peoples bow down to you. Be Lord over your brethren and let your mother's sons bow down to you. And may all the blessings wherewith Yahuwah has blessed me and blessed Avraham, my father, be imparted to you and to your seed forever. Cursed be he that curses you, and blessed be he that blesses you. And it came to pass, as soon as Yitzhak had made an end of blessing his son Yaakov, and Yaakov had gone forth from Yitzhak his father, he hid himself. And Esau, his brother, came in from his hunting. And he also made savory meat, and brought it to his father, and said unto his father, Let my father arise and eat of my venison, that your soul may bless me. And Yitzhak, his father, said unto him, Who are you? And he said unto him, I am your firstborn, your son, Esau. I have done as you have commanded me. And Yitzhak was very greatly astonished and said, Who is he that has hunted and caught and brought it to me? And I have eaten of all before you came and have blessed him. And he said, rather, And he shall be blessed and all his seed forever. And it came to pass when Esau heard the words of his father Yitzhak that he cried with an exceeding great and bitter cry, and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, father. And he said unto him, Your brother came with guile and has taken away your blessing. And he said, Now I know why his name is named Yaakov. Behold, he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and now he's taken away my blessing. And he said, Have you not reserved a blessing for me, father? And Yitzhak answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him your Lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, and with plenty of grain and wine and oil have I strengthened him. And what now shall I do for you, my son? And Esau said to Yitzhak, his father, Have you but one blessing, O father? Bless me, even me also, father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Yitzhak answered and said unto him, Behold, far from the dew of the earth shall be your dwelling, and far from the dew of heaven from above. And by your sword will you live, and you will serve your brother. And it shall come to pass when you become great and do shake his yoke from off your neck. You shall sin a complete sin unto death and your seed shall be rooted out from under heaven. And Esau kept threatening Yaakov because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him, and he said in his heart, May the days of mourning for my father now come, so that I may slay my brother Yaakov.